Hello, and welcome to this quick overview of Service Level Agreement, or SLA Management in Jira Service Management. In order to view this, I'll need to be a Project Administrator, and I'm going to scroll on down to Project Settings. From here, I'll scroll down on the left and look for SLAs. This shows me the current Service Level Agreements I have in the project, with the ability to add a new one in the top right, modify existing calendars, and click into existing ones right here. Calendars are an important thing, because they'll tell the SLA clock when it should tick down. For example, in this sample calendar, the SLA clock only ticks Monday to Wednesday between 9 and 5 p.m. in Pacific Standard Time. You can edit these or create your own, and I'll always encourage you to go in and make sure things like your holidays are up to date. To view an existing SLA, I can just click the caret and see its goals. They are evaluated top-down, so the first goal is looked at first. So if the ticket category is incidents, it gets a 4-hour goal. If it is not incidents, it then moves to the next and the next, and eventually gets to all remaining issues. Keep this in mind as you're setting up SLAs, since the highest one on the list will be the first one JIRA checks. Conditions tell the SLA when it should be ticking, when it should be paused, and when it should finish. For example, it might start when an issue is created, pause if it's waiting for customer, and then end when there is a resolution. And last, you can set the format. Now we'll pop up and make our own SLA so you can see what it's like. I'll give it some name, and then I'll set a all remaining goal. This will be for every issue that doesn't meet other criteria, maybe 16 hours. And I'll add a new criteria, maybe 4 hours, and use JQL to define this. Maybe type equals system change. I'll click save to save these, and now I'll check my conditions. It will start ticking once the issue is created. I'll pause it if things are in planning, and we'll finish ticking once it enters the implementing status. And then I'll click save. Now I have a brand new 4-hour SLA that will appear on system change tickets and a 16-hour SLA for all other issues. Thanks for taking time to quickly learn how SLAs can be set up in Jira, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos soon.